we've been we've been making a, a uh, real effort to keep this award, which isn't in your programs, a secret. In fact, to the extent that I was worried about avoiding eye contact with the recipient, but I needn't have worried because those spotlights <laughs> make it pretty much impossible for me to see anybody onto the script. Uh, this award is like other land awards being presented this evening. It recognizes leadership, innovation, and collaboration, only this time for an individual. The Land Championship Award honors the contributions of a person who, over time, has distinguished him or herself working on issues related to land use and conservation in the province and benefited communities and the land itself in doing so. This year's winner is a person who has invested countless hours over more than 20 years, in fact, working with nonprofit groups, universities, government agencies, and the real estate industry uh, members to increase understanding and improve relationships between people and between sectors. Our winner has been the catalyst in helping small housing societies get their projects off the ground, in connecting conservation and sustainable development interests, and in supporting research to help communities plan well for the future. <clears throat> uh, high ideals were evident uh, by the recipient of this award, such things as encouraging more responsible real estate and, and sustainable land use practices and promoting a, a new land ethic, obviously uh, were driving forces. I know that the recipient of this inaugural land champion award would echo the Real Estate Foundation's belief that as British Columbians, we have a responsibility to steward our province's land and real estate resources for our own quality of life and for the greater good and for generations to come. We can show briefly now the video. Oh. Under his leadership, the Foundation has made serious investments in discovery and new knowledge across a number of the most important land use themes and has backed initiatives that might never have, no, that would never have seen the light of day without his interest and Foundation support. Tim's, Tim's contribution to collaboration, real collaboration, collaboration on the ground, is convened for action in British Columbia, which was just a, just a phrase that Tim helped make it real. And I think the Real Estate Foundation was and is innovative and that is completely a, a result of, of Tim's vision and, and collaboration around the province and looking at how our province was growing and, and where it may be going and land use underlying all of the things that we did. How, how could we best use the land and have the people benefit in more holistic manners than just a, just an economic manner. The real estate industry, real estate associations, all those names are, are very much business enterprises associated with business. And I think through Tim's leadership and the kind of funding that's come out of the foundation, community organizations are understanding really with much appreciation that business is making a contribution to community well-being as well. Tim, congratulations on being the uh, the inaugural winner of the Real Estate Foundation's Land Champion Award. Because if there's one person in this province who's consistently been a land champion, that's you, Tim. Keep it up. <laughs> it's an honor to be able to speak to you in this manner. And I want to be able to congratulate you on being the first Real Estate Foundation Land Champion. Congratulations. It's been an honor working with you. And I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Congratulations, Tim, on receiving this wonderful award. I think it is especially fitting that it go first to you because it sets the bar pretty high for subsequent nominations. So you leave with a long legacy and the hopes for many of us that we're going to continue to be able to benefit and learn from what you have done and what you're going to continue to do. We're counting on you. Tim, it's great that you're receiving this award. It puts an exclamation point on the end of your long involvement with the Real Estate Foundation. And you're so completely deserving of this, this recognition. 
It's a tremendous personal and institutional accomplishment, and it connects the foundation to the entire BC community. I know that I speak for all of us when I say thanks and congratulations. Tim Pringle was the executive director of the Real Estate Foundation for 20 years. He just recently retired from the foundation, but his work around sustainable land use practices doesn't stop. As the president of the new Water Sustainable Sustainability Partnership, he will continue to make positive contributions to British Columbia and all our lives. He's very deserving of this award, and I congratulate you. people working on solutions, finding ways to make the, the, those values of what we do in settlement and the ecology more equal uh, so that our future generations are better off. Uh, how can that be a tough job? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never felt that um, uh, there was anything but positive challenges and great people to work with. And I thank all of you for suggesting that I'm worthy of this kind of award. Um, it, it does um, represent, I think, the work of all the people that the foundation has uh, supported and continues to support, and I hope that uh, in the future, recipients will represent the energy and the commitment of all the people that uh, are committed to our land and the betterment of our community. And I thank you very much.